All right, today we're gonna clone our system over to our new drive. So we just installed a new drive on one of our videos. And this is gonna be the part two, I would say, for that video. But this one, we're gonna do the mini tools, all right? We're gonna go ahead and set it up. We're gonna get mini tools to clone our computer. So we're gonna go to inter internet and we type in mini tool. Not S, just tool, hit enter. This company has multiple different applications out there that you can use, but today we're gonna use the the little uh, one of the shadow copies and we're going to go to download if you guys go see it go your downloads and we're going to and they have multiple applications some of them are just recovery some of them are pretty much re, um shadow copying everything else and also other applications that you can check them out so you could find them at mini tool.com mini tool all right dot com and you get a free trial for 30 days but you could buy the pro version and open it up for more features so let's go ahead and download we're going to download this all right, so if you download the application, uh, this is pretty much what you can do. Anything that's corrupt, anything that needs to be copied or cloned back, you can do that with this application. Today, we're going to put it to a test and see what it can do. So we're going to clone one drive to the other and make sure that we take out the older one and just run it with the new one. So stick around and let's take a, let's take a look at it and see how it well works. We're going to do the 30-day trial for you guys out there. But if you guys find that this is very useful, then I will suggest purchasing something like this gonna ask you what you want to do in right in front of the screen so right now we're gonna see it this is a 30-day trial but you like i said you can purchase it just by putting either a monthly subscription a yearly subscription or a pro subscription pro subscription there's constantly updates on these applications it's constantly working with everything that's out there any changes that microsoft makes the system actually automatically updates too. So right now we're gonna do the 30-day trial. If you wanna do it, this is the same thing I'm doing. So let's go ahead and do the 30-day trial. And we're gonna keep the trial. First time use it. If you find it that's useful for your type of work, the line of work that you do, then I would suggest do something like this. If you work in the IS, it's a great tool for you. When you're traveling, you're installing it, you're upgrading, you're downgrading, whatever it is, this is the right tool. So right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and um, Let's go show you the OneDrive. I have OneDrive here and I cloned the brand new SSD. So one of these brand new suckers that I just bought, the Samsung 972 terabytes. So we're gonna change it from 500 gigs, 512 to two terabytes, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. You can schedule a, a set a point of when, what do you wanna back up to where and what time, or we're gonna continue on. We could do a syncing, syncing of files. So some people like to do parallel copying of uh, files, especially now where we have a lot of photos there. You know, you want to make sure you copy it to another drive in case something happens. You're traveling, you have to your work you want to take with you. So you can just set that up. So it doesn't have to be pictures or files. It could be anything pretty much to sync up. Now, restoring point. This is a very valuable. Microsoft has a built in restoring port, but, but a lot of people don't enable it and don't know even how to start start it up. But you can set up a, a good point from here. It doesn't have to be Microsoft's application. It could be your application or something simple for you to do. Under Manage, this is a, a, a couple of options you have. You could add different backups in here and, and to start up. For, for example, right now, after I finish cloning all this stuff, I could just hit uh, shut down the computer after it's completed. Uh, logs, this is pretty much whatever st status you've done. If you forgot where you did the restoring point, you could come back in here or find it. And under tools, this is very important because we're going to use tools a lot more. Now on here, you could do media copy or you could clone your drive from drive C to drive D. And that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and clone it right now. And of course, you can always give feedback to the writers, uh, the, the programmers and and the application and the software developers because this is a great tool for you guys. Very simplify everything all in one little uh, dashboard if you guys can see that. So let's go ahead and do the tools. We're gonna clone the copy. We're gonna clone our hard drive. Right now, it's asking you where to identify the source. The source is gonna be our C drive, of course. If you can see the C drive, if you can see the C drive comes with a couple of different partitions and this is where you're, you're okay and everything to go ahead and do. So right now, as I see I'm proceeding, I see everything's copying properly. We're gonna go ahead and say finish on this one. We're gonna finish, go to target. Under target, we're gonna find the secondary drive, which is we have our two terabyte and this is the D drive. And we're gonna say finish and we're gonna say okay. 
and all you have to do is say data target two will be destroyed so right now it's giving you a warning that anything that we have on drive two it's going to be destroyed so we're going to clone our ter two ter our 500 uh, gigs to two terabytes so let's go ahead and do that B begin the commands and the timer starts and we're just going to let it run right now so as soon as this is complete we're going to go ahead and uninstall the drive that we currently have and then we're going to keep the secondary the the two terabyte hard drive that we have in there and we're going to go ahead and start when our new like nothing happened everything exactly how you have it all your all your favorites all your files all your music files everything's going to be exactly all your connection all your plugins and updates are going to be set up properly so let's go ahead and do the commence and this is going to take quite a while so just to let you guys know it might take a couple hours to do that and if you're not if you don't have the time you can always hit shut computer when completed oh snap we're almost there <laughs> It's cloning the whole hard drive. We're gonna bring the secondary camera so you guys can see how I removed the hard drive and how simple this application worked. Just like one, two, three, two or three snaps and that's it. That's pretty much, and this is just a trial guys. I'm doing it so you guys can go right now and do the same thing I might secretly do it. Um, you could purchase the Pro if you find this very useful and you can do it for multiple computers. This is very handy for a lot of people that are, are, are transferring files or upgrading themselves or doing all sorts of cloning. This is the proper way. Just to give you guys a word of advice, if you're gonna clone it, make sure you have a BitLocker install because the BitLocker encrypts a lot of the stuff and some of these clones are able to work with it and some are not. So before you do that, do not install BitLocker or set up BitLocker on your computer. Uh, some people don't have the NTFS um, chip. It's perfect. That means you don't have BitLocker. You're not going to be able to uh, obtain BitLocker, which is fine. It's, in a, it's a Microsoft encryption system where you clone your hard drive and you pretty much cannot even turn it on or do anything with it without getting the encryption key. So today we just finished it up. We're going to turn off this machine and start to the next project. So let's go ahead and do that. So say... It was completely successful, blah, blah, blah. Say, do you want to shut down your computer? Let's go ahead and shut it down. All right, so I just shut down the machine right now and we're gonna remove the old drive that we had in here. And by using the mini tools, it's gonna, it helped us out a lot just to clone the whole thing. So let's go ahead and open it up first. Like I said, take out the battery first, always remove the battery. So in the last video, we put the drive in here, the two terabytes, and we have the 500, this is a hard drive, a 500 gig, 512 um, drive that we're gonna remove and we're gonna make this the primary. There is nothing here, we have that emptied out, but there's only the two terabytes that we installed in here. We're gonna go ahead and empty this out. So right now we're just gonna remove it, pretty much hold this button down, pull it back, take it out, and that's it. We could always put a, a SATA drive in here, a larger SATA drive, they're pretty cheap and expensive. You could always SATA it up, but today we're just gonna go ahead and cover it up crank it up and we're gonna see if this works because the cloning tool is very simple one two three tools just automatically install and we didn't have to worry about any of the frustration it was just basically just choose the source pick the destination and you're all set very simple to install very simple to to clone very simple to backup you could schedule stuff you could sync this is a great application I like how it's working right now. So we're now it's finding its OS and there's only one primary OS right now that it's gonna find and that's pretty much it. So if you guys see in the last one, I just removed this drive. This is the original drive and it's a hard drive. It's a two, it's a 512. Now from 512, we're doing to two terabytes. I'm gonna show you guys. I could go back in here later on and format this drive, of course, and wipe it out and use this as a storage device. So, and I'm gonna show you guys how much space we have in here. Just to guys show you guys. And it seems like everything exactly how I had in the drive, even the application itself, even the application that I downloaded, it saved up in the exactly drive. And now I have two terabytes in here of space. Everything did nothing changed in here. This is very simple to use. Um, didn't have to do any 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 headaches like other applications do, you know. The Mini 2 Shadow Maker is a great application out there for especially if you guys are 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 afraid of backing up stuff or restoring or if you're upgrading yourself into a next drive very simple use to use the application you get 30 day trial right now but if you're happy with the application i suggest buy and keep it for the future any kind of future use you can use it uh i i'm very pleased with it and this is just with the trial it was able to enable me to include and, and bring all my backups exactly how i had until the two terabytes and that's pretty much does it. So if you guys like what you guys see, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and we're out.
I'm your host, Prophet Cindy Four, and we're out.